um, Matt. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, so today, everyone, I'm joined by Matt Gordon. Um, do you want to do a little intro, Matt? Sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm Matt, Matt Gordon. I'm an English lecturer at Waltham Forest College up in North, uh, North East London, and I'm also an advanced practitioner. Amazing. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining me today. No worries. Um, Thank you. We're going to talk about AP Connect. And, cool. um, last year you were involved in year two, and this year we're just going into. Well, applications are currently open for yeah. um, year three, but um, we're going to talk about how you were involved last year. So, um, how and why did you get involved in AP Connect last year? I uh, got involved because it's just been fantastic, to be honest. Uh, the whole um, uh, Situation because so the movement then that's <laughs> that's so much sound a bit scary but the whole um, the whole uh, you know advanced practitioner the community practice was for me um, uh, really important really useful in what I was doing uh, coming back into teaching um, uh, as I have done last last few years yeah. and I got involved in it because of because of that uh, I, I developed a lot of um, a lot of knowledge a lot of understanding uh, about particular roles within. Uh, uh, colleges, uh, not necessarily in, in terms of quality roles, but in terms of just, just good, uh, strong you know, teaching, learning, and assessment, and met up with some fantastic people. And I thought this is great, you know, a great opportunity to learn professionally and get some, some great links across the, across the sector. And so for me, it was a natural thing to try and keep up that uh, in, involvement. And naturally, you know, when you meet up professionals or sometimes people, you kind of, you, you kind of forge links, uh, um, you know, with, with certain people. Sometimes it's maintained, sometimes it's not. But for me, just having the opportunity to do that um, uh, was really important and it's led to some, some great projects. Yeah, and I think that's been quite a common motivation, hasn't it, by by advanced practitioners all over the country. Um, I remember when I was an advanced practitioner and there was a team of us at the college that I was at, but yeah. we always wanted to talk to other people at other colleges, yeah. look at what they were doing. So yeah, having that having that space to really come together with other people is really important so yeah and we're going to talk a little bit more about how um, you benefited and um, the project that you did so tell us a little bit about your project um, and, and what you what your thinking was around that originally what started off was uh, there was a few ideas floating around to this is going back was it, 2018 2019 seems like a long long time ago now and, and onwards uh, but back then, there were some ideas about, <clears throat> excuse me, using uh, uh, different digital platforms, for example, to, to engage students. And one of those was, was the idea of webinars, uh, for example, that we used, we used uh, not, they're not a new thing, uh, webinars, and they haven't been, uh, or they, they're not so much a novelty, I should say, uh, as they were anymore. But it's a common device, if you like, a common platform for professionals to use, um, uh, you know, in certain in all, all kind of range of different um, careers and positions, but the idea of using webinars for with students to engage in the subject was relatively relatively new. So I was interested in something like that. It was a very vague kind of uh, idea. So I just thought, you know, this is something I could use. I'd like to explore. And I met up with a few people um, um, to discuss the idea. And one of them, uh, a wonderful wonderful lady called Jane Calvert up in uh, Jane Calvert up in Shipley College. Um, and she had a similar idea uh, in terms of how can you use this as a, as a device, effectively, is, you know, to, to get some uh, get some students involved in the subject. And she, for luck for me, was also uh, an experienced uh, GCCNA level English, um, English teacher. Uh, and we got, we got talking effectively about the idea of what can we do here. And for Jan, it was uh, it was something she wanted to try, something she was relatively new to. She was getting to grips with using. Um, um, uh, additional devices and, and platforms in terms of her own teaching. Uh, I've been using lots of traditional stuff before, and for me, I've been I've been using it for training in, in previous incarnations, in previous jobs, and things like that uh, to train staff and to train other, other um, uh, members of uh, sort of senior staff and that kind of thing. So I was used to using it as a training platform, this idea yeah. webinar, but not for students. Yeah. Um, uh, and it was, and so Jan and I came to, came together, and we, we, it became, you know, less vague, less woolly, and a bit more specific in terms of how we're going to use it in our individual um, college and how we're going to use it together. Yeah. And from that, developed this idea of this collaborative project where we would uh, uh, do webinars for each other's students. So yeah, she, yeah it was it was a, it was fantastic. And for, for Jan back at the time, she thought, I don't, I've not really done this before, so it's going to be 
completely new to me. I kind of I'm aware of YouTube, I don't really know what to do there. And so I kind of helped out on, on some things and I'm you know, not an expert myself, but we discussed it, all sorts of things to do and um, and and it ended up really really well. It went up like a fantastic project that started off as a, a quite a basic idea yeah. that turned into something uh, that was um, uh, really useful for us as, as teachers and even better I suppose was really useful for students to, to engage in as a, as a, yeah. as a, just as a sake of it if you like for, for using it um, uh, as, as a teaching and learning opportunity but also just as a novelty you know yeah. it's quite, quite a new thing or a strange thing to do and so to cut a long story short Jan did a, a webinar that I co-delivered if you like face to face with, with my students uh, and we kept it we, we tried to keep it simple with it just for GCC uh, produce English language, but we both deliver different specs, you see. So I do AQA okay. and she does Excel. Yeah. So there's a little bit of movement in terms of what we're actually going to do, but we're going to target the same sort of skills. Uh, and the idea was to get them working on the, the stuff that she'd set in the webinar. And I did a recorded webinar that she delivered to her, uh, a couple of her cohort. And then we uh, we set them tasks and they exchanged that work. Uh, so they got yeah. feedback from the other colleagues, from the other students, yeah. um, and, and and vice versa. And it worked really well for me. The, the original idea was just to see, that, you know, how it works, just a, a, yeah. pure, a pure question. And for me, the motivation, or and for Jen to a certain extent as well, the motivation originally was how can we target some of those harder to reach, yeah. uh, uh, just you know, students. And it could be all sorts of uh, reasons why that might be harder to reach. Um, and and uh, how can we get some of the students who would be you know, habitually quiet during the session, for example, not really engage? They might do some good written work, but they wouldn't really get involved in the class, class life, if you like, or what's, what's happening in the class and how we could bring those guys in. And we thought uh, uh, doing it online, and this was the original idea, was doing a recorded session and then bring the students together online mm. uh, where they could discuss uh, with this book, perfect strangers and with something of a, of a, of a safety net, if you like, of an avatar or an online uh, name, or no, they can be okay. pretty, pretty much anonymous. And so the idea was to try and get them to discuss stuff, you know, uh, and teenagers, I want to cast aspersions, but teenagers can't always be the most communicative uh, when it comes to discussing aspects of 19th or 20th century language and literature, you know, fair play to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, we thought maybe, you know, let's just see what, let's see what happens from it. Um, and it did, bizarrely enough, it really did bring, on both sides, on, on, on you know, North Forest College in London and Shipping College up, up, up far up north, we had the very different sets of students, very different backgrounds uh, as well, but they, it seemed to work in terms of engaging in the subject and also engaging them into um, um, a discussion, you know, and even collaborating to a certain extent uh, with, with, with other, other students, so it was brilliant. That and is it, really cool. It, it, it was just amazing. It worked out. We, you know, we got more, Jan and I, I think, got more and more excited about it as it went on. We started seeing so many other possibilities. And as we got yeah. more skilled in using the tech and some of the ideas, and, uh, uh, some ideas, you know, we're actually working or, or not in some cases, but it seemed to be having quite a good effect. Um, uh, and, it, and it sort of took off from there. It, it, it sort of acquired its own momentum. And then it hit the brick wall of, of lockdown and everything else. So <laughs> it was the tail end of uh, tail end of that from last year uh, and the original idea was to keep everything online to keep it digital and then bring some students if we could face to face so I would yeah. take an you know, excuse okay. for a day trip basically I'd take yeah. them up north and they'd also come down to London and that's where it fell down because obviously yeah, yeah. it became a big, a big no-no uh, but one, one of the in, in some on my side you know one of the um, unforeseen positives out of it was you had students who are not normally engaged in the subject, not normally engaged in class, who were getting engaged in the subject and getting engaged in class, and also were very interested in uh, the idea of you know, a day out, a field trip, uh, yeah. in some ways, even if they were going to go and sit in a classroom and you know, spend a short bit of time to somewhere they'd never, they'd never been before, a certain part of the country. And so just by having that uh, uh, out there for them, yeah. uh, got them more engaged in the topic, you know, got them more engaged in the subject. They were asking me on a weekly basis, have you heard from the guys in Shipley yet? And, and I was not expecting any, any of that. You know, I was expecting yeah. a fairly lukewarm response <laughs> for a, for a four hour trip up to Yorkshire, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, in you, two days or maybe. I just think but, that, I think that, you know, quite a simple idea, but really, really amazing because I think I've, I've often, it's one of the reasons that I get involved in, in trying to connect people and, yeah. and, and the reason that I love 
doing this sort of thing and projecting messages out to others so that people hear each other's stories. Yeah. You know, there's so much to learn from working together and having colleges. And I'm sure there is lots of that work that has happened before now, but having colleges really work together. Mm. And, you know, like you say, one of the incentives is going to different parts of the country to go and spend time with other students and another college. Obviously, at the minute, it, it's a bit more, you know, we, we're not we're not going to be able to do that for a little while. Yeah, um, well, not physically. Anyways, well, not but, phys- you know. Yeah, not physically, but actually working together now without those barriers of, of physical location. I think there's loads of scope um, mm. to be had. So, yeah, um, are you going to change any of your practices this year um, based on some of that? Are you hoping well, to be involved in AP Connect Year 3? Definitely. Well, I'm hoping to be because I did AP. I did, I did, I did, I can't remember now. I did Year Three, and I'm hoping to do. There's the uh, we had the constellations, didn't we? And the constellation yeah. uh, community practice as well. So I'm still a little bit involved in. And I'm hoping to get on um, to the uh, constellation, um, constellation C plus. Yes. So it's those who have been through um, they've been through the training sessions and, and, and done the later stuff. It could be right. AP National, for example. It's yeah. AP South. So. It's kind of again quite a it's momentum all by itself, and I've kept in you know contact with quite a few people there, uh, but not uh, at the sort of level or depth I would like. And that's you know, sometimes yeah. you come to it, it sort of takes over. But Jan and I just seem to have kept kept on going really, right. and now it's turned into a completely new project. So we're doing an OTLA um, uh, project out of it now, which is obviously right. with ETF, which is fantastic. Yeah, and it's 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 based on what we did there. So that was our. Uh, if you like, we use that as a dry run. Well, looking looking back at it hindsightedly, we, we, we were talking about it, and the opportunity came up for the OTLA application you know, a few months back. And I yeah. got, contacted Jan. She was like, "I was thinking exactly the same thing. We could do our webinar thing and just just take it on to a different yeah. level now, and you know, in the context of COVID and everything else, and see how what we could do there instead." And so that's what we did. So we put the application. So we got were successful. We were both like, I think this is fantastic man, because we've yeah. got some. Uh, there's a little bit of money behind it, but obviously money's not. Uh, Important things that there, but now we can ask some very direct questions in terms of doing a bit of research. So that's what we've we've turned it into. So we we kept if I'm right, we've kept the uh, the what's the word um, the basis sort of like the, yeah. the central theme is still there, but it's yeah. changed a little bit. And you know, yeah. I, suppose it, I suppose it would do. So we're asking now we're we're, based, we're asking a fairly open, very large kind of research based question as can we get these students enjoying the subject more, you know, engaged yeah. but also enjoying the subject. more. Yeah. And and that's the main the main thrust, if you like. The, the additionals are, you know, will there be more success maybe later on down the line? Will there be, you know, a more engagement in class? Will there be better exam results? There's all those sort of tick boxing quality sort of things that you have to have in mind. Yeah. But the but, but between Jan and I, our, our, our pure motivation is: can we can we get them involved now? And can we use this technology uh, that they're a bit more familiar with, or they're, they're, they're at least expecting to use? Um, and, and really get some good feedback in terms of how they learn, how they want to learn. <coughs> that's that's really so, exciting then. Yeah, it's been um, brilliant. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in um, you as an advanced practitioner then. So um, how have you um, maybe used theory to influence your practice over time? And then how would you say your practice has developed over time as an advanced practitioner? I think one of the great things for me, you just said or uh, mentioned earlier, was this idea of coming together with lots of other um, um, uh, professionals from you know, all sorts of different colleges, all sorts of different backgrounds, and even all different sorts of subjects. So it gave me an opportunity to discuss and learn from, steal some some great ideas and some, yeah. some discussions that were, were going on. So uh, there's been, to cut a long story short, if I can, there's been lots of different influences in terms of pedagogy, in terms of what I've done and what I, what I don't do. Um, but some things that, that jump out straight to mind is the idea, well, I know you know this, but, but Lou Mycroft's uh, writing and thinking is this idea of creating a space, basically, you know, an open space to be able to discuss, um, uh, discuss things. And it's, it's, um, that was a game changer for me. Um, uh, this is going back a, a little while now, but the idea of having this um, uh, opportunity, if you like, for everyone speaks for a certain amount of time and everyone else or your partner listens only was uh, uh, an interesting, I thought, oh, that's going to work well with professionals, could it be translated to a classroom? Uh, and I was, you know, I had, I had my um, doubts about it. It does depend a lot on the setup and the relationship and are they 
you know, can play you know the game basically. Yeah. Um, so just just introducing that as a bit of uh, as an experiment worked really well. It changed certainly the way I uh, teach and Tom could collaborate in a collaborative way, even from colleagues, but especially talking to students, giving students the opportunity to uh, speak quite openly. Um, you know, uh, you know, in, 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 a, in an open environment, uh, in a protective. Uh, but still an open environment in the classroom was 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 interesting. You know, some some individuals really got to um, enjoy it. You could see some individuals were very skeptical, but, but at the same time they joined in with the idea. Uh, and, and you always get a few sort of full arm brigade to a certain extent. So I'm not going I'm not going to do this. Uh, but it was interesting to see it work um, uh, across a, a large group of people of different ages, different backgrounds, uh, who suddenly. Realise actually this is quite a nice opportunity. You know, I don't. I, I can even. I can even take the choice to not say very much at all and just sit <laughs> in comfortable silence for twenty seconds and see what people do about it. So yeah. just trying something out like that was was was, was amazing. Yeah. And then I suppose a bit more recently, looking at um, uh, again going back to this idea of this uh, collaborative learning yeah. for me and bringing some of those ideas into into, into the classroom is going to be uh, something I would we were doing. I was. Uh, um, Put into practice just before lockdown it seemed to be working quite well and I kind of lost my way a bit there to translate that to an online situation when didn't at first wasn't wasn't the easiest thing to do uh, mainly for the technical things because I get into groups with certain aspects of teams for example or zoom whatever it happens to be uh, but now I can really see the potential there and there's something we've Jan and I have brought into this new project for September so the idea here is that we have uh, study buddies uh, between yeah. students, which is not that of a new idea, of course. But yeah. I suppose what the new spin on it is these digital study buddies. Yeah. So instead of having you know Joe or Jane blogs from a couple of classes away as their study buddy, they've got Joe or Jane blogs up in Shipley College, <laughs> several really? several miles yeah. away. But they're going to be but they're going to be learning and developing some of the responses to, uh, to some of these tasks. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what works. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Cool. Well, thanks ever so much for joining me today. Um, and I will, um, I'm definitely excited to share some of, some of the things that you've been putting into practice yeah. and how you've, how you've applied what you've learned on AP Connect. And hopefully, um, how, hopefully I'll see you this year in, in AP Connect. Year three. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I would like to hear that. Um, <laughs> I, was, okay. I was talking about it with somebody the other day, and I thought, even if I don't get through or get to get a place, I'll still try and be involved in it. Yeah, it's, you know, there's always when well, you know it's always wow. um, very visible. So yeah, exactly. You get involved in lots of different ways, which is great. So, Fab, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. Sir. Take care. Bye. Cheers.